Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So I've been playing with this new book and there's a stitch in here that's new to me and it might be new to you as well. It's called the Tunisian Slip Stitch Pearled. So what's gonna happen is um, that you will, this is a multiple of two by the way, and I have a worsted weight yarn and I think this might be a K size hook, it doesn't say and I didn't measure it. We're gonna pull the yarn to the front as if to Tunisian Pearl then we're gonna go under the, the vertical bar and we are going to just pull up a loop and leave it there. So we're not actually yarning over and pulling through. We're just kind of wrapping that stitch. So we're bringing the yarn in front as if to purl and we're then <laughs> slip stitching, which means just putting the loop on the hook and we're not pulling the yarn through at all. We're allowing that yarn to wrap around the front of the stitch. Now we'll do a traditional Tunisian slip stitch, or I'm sorry, tun yeah, no, Tunisian simple stitch <laughs> by inserting our hook from dominant side to tension side and pulling up a loop through that stitch. So that's a Tunisian simple stitch. Now we're, gonna, we're alternating, so I want you to see the difference between the two stitches. And here comes Theo to steal my yarn. So let's make sure he does not do that. So to, to Tunisian slip stitch purled, we are bringing the yarn to the front of the fabric, okay? However you need to do that. Then we are inserting the hook from ho the hook side to tension side and just pulling up that loop. You're not actually pulling yarn through it. So that hook, this loop here, this um, yarn here, re wraps around the front of the stitch as if it's purled, but it's not actually pulled through anything. Now we're gonna just ignore it and do Tunisian simple stitch as if you already know, pull it to the front. It's a slip stitch because you are not actually pulling yarn through. You're just inserting the hook in the space and you're kind of pulling up on that loop and it becomes the new loop on the hook. So Tunisian simple stitch and then we, and we're offsetting it every other row to make this. And then to Tunisian simple stitch purled, Tunisian simple stitch purled, Purling, we're bringing the yarn to the front. Tunisian slip stitching, we're just inserting the hook from the dominant side to the tension side. So the dominant hand side to the tension side, the hand that holds the tension. And we're not actually pulling that yarn through. So we're just wrapping it around. Tunisian simple stitch, pulling up a loop. Yes, um, you can't really do Tunisian slip stitch purl all the way across because you would you would just be you wouldn't have anything to anchor it to so this yarn would be just here and you would just be doing okay i am tunisian slip stitching oh i'm bringing the yarn to the front i'm tunisian slip stitching oh i'm bringing the yarn to the front i'm tunisian slip stitching so there's no way to like you're, you're not actually doing anything if you just were to Tunisian slip stitch purled all the way across. Like this yarn would just be sticking here. So we have to put something else on the other side of it so that it holds it in place. And we're alternating with Tunisian simple stitch. So anyway, I just thought that would be interesting to you. Um, and then you just yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two in the traditional return pass. But I just wanted to do a quick something for you. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Please catch me on the five minute crochet podcast most weekday mornings. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.